Hi everyone. A question that I get, especially at the end of a school year, is how can I make a photo slideshow to be able to share out with my families, uh, friends, and other members of the school? So the one thing that I recommend everyone to try is Canva. You know, seriously, what can't, what can't Canva do? I haven't found it yet. But one of the good things that it does do is make a video slideshow of your photos. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be on the Canva website. And remember that when you are in Canva as an educator, you can have access to the platform at the EDU level for free. So that is a great feature. Uh, you will see in the notes of this video, uh, down below here of this video, a link to that, how to sign up for the educator account. So let's make our photo slideshow. I'm gonna start by going to the search window and uh, the search I'm gonna do is a slideshow video and I've done it before, so I'm just gonna go ahead and opt for it. When that opens up, you're gonna be presented with tons of different templates that you can use. Now, sometimes templates are easy to use and sometimes they're hard to use because you are in so many confined parameters. If you wanna just try this playing around from the beginning, I like to start from a blank slideshow. So you just kind of have a blank, kind of like a blank piece of paper and you start creating from there. So when that window opens up, we are simply gonna start to add the most important thing, the photos. So I'm gonna go over here on the left-hand side and I'm gonna choose the word uploads. Now you can bring in media so you can upload it so you could have it on your desktop or whatever and bring it in. But did you know that you can connect so many accounts to Canva by going to these three dots? And you can connect your Facebook account, your Google Drive account, your Instagram, and your Google Photos. Amazing. So I took some time in my Google Photos uh, library and I made some albums of images. That way when I was ready to start the slideshow, I had all of my pictures in one place. I highly recommend that. So you have your assets all ready to go uh, to make this project instead of digging into your photo library and trying to find the photo when you're in the middle of making the project. So much harder to do because sometimes I get distracted by looking at all those photos. I don't know about you, but it can happen. So if I go to my Google Photos, which I've connected already, I have some albums already made, ready to go. And the album I'm gonna choose is the word, it has elephants. Now this was uh, in lieu of the circus parade in Baraboo, Wisconsin, uh, that they had these uh, elephant statues that uh, were creatively painted by different artists in the area and placed around Baraboo. So let's bring some pictures in. Uh, so let's start out the slideshow with this one and I'm gonna bring it in and then I'm just gonna move it over and I'm gonna leave the white over here. Now I'm gonna add a new page and let's add this one in and let's go the opposite way. Let's put this over here and bring it over and let's leave white over here. Uh, let's do another one. Well, let's put two on this next page. Let's put these kind of green looking ones together. So I'm gonna put this one here, kind of bring it up in the upper left corner and put this one here and bring that down in the lower right corner. I can make it a little bit smaller so that we can see the whole elephant. And look at that already. I've got three slides done. Now on this next one, I'm gonna do a little something special. I'm gonna to go to the word elements over here on the left-hand side, and I'm going to choose a shape of a square. And you're wondering, well, that's not very exciting. Well, what I'm gonna do is actually change the background color of my slide that I'm gonna put the pictures on top of. So instead of being white, I just made that big, and I'm gonna make it black, all right? I'm gonna go back into my library here, and I'm gonna do something different on this one. I'm gonna go to the word elements one more time, and I'm gonna scroll down to something that they call frames. And the one that I like to use that's usually a wow effect with people is this one that kinda of looks like scribble. If I click on that and bring it into my project, well, I'm gonna make it bigger for one thing. Make sure that I have it centered, and this Canva helps me out. Look at all those little pink guides showing up. So I know that I've got it centered in my slide now. And I'm gonna go back to my photos and I'm gonna choose, oh, this one. This one was right at Circus World. So I'm gonna bring this picture in. So now I'm gonna drag and drop it and see how I drop it, how that blue edge comes around. 
And when I drop that in, wow, look at the effect that creates. It almost looks like that scratch off art. So it's kind of a different look from all of these different slides. Now on the next slide, oh, uh oh, I all of a sudden I decided I want to put a title on my slideshow, but I'm already this far in. Never fear. You can always do anything at any time and be able to move it around. So let's get some text for this. Oh, let's see. Ooh, let's call, let's do this one. This is kind of cool. And I just put that in and I'm going to edit the text. So the last word is parade. And the top word, oops, I'm going to get to that one. Double click in there. Oh, that looks great. Oh, that looks great. But I think it needs to have a black background. So let's go ahead and drop that box in. Now, I just brought that in because it sensed that was the color on the page, but you certainly do not have to keep it that color. It'd be any color you want to. Um, I'm just going to grab this, and I like that black background. But you're like, oh, no, I can't see my words. Well, of course, now that we got that um, uh, selected, all you have to do is position and send it to the back. Now, we need to have that slide at the front, so I'm going to click and drag and put it to the front. Now, any of these slides we can go back into. I could add some text in this white area. I could add all sorts of stickers and animated things on there. Whatever you want. So creative. But you know what? We need to kind of get from one picture to the next. Let's add some transitions in. If you look at the bottom here and my where all my different slides are at, there's a plus button in between each one. If I click it, there's a top button that you can choose to add a page. So you could do that either at the end or in the middle of each one of these or add a transition. So I'm going to go down to add a transition and I'm going to choose the one of dissolve. And I'm going to make that last just a little bit longer. Let's have that last for two seconds just so it kind of makes them really kind of swipe in between. And I'm going to say apply between all pages. Voila, I have a transition now in between each one. So if I hit the play button, let's get ourselves a nice big screen so we can see this here. And let's press the word play or press the play button. And we can see that it's moving from one picture to the next with those transitions in there. But you're thinking like me, hmm, this is kind of flat. Well, flat, a pun. We need to add some music. Canva's got you covered there as well. If we look over here on the left-hand side, we have audio. Tons and tons and tons and tons of all these different royalty-free tunes that you can use for your slideshow. So let's see. Feel so lucky. Let's see what that sounds like. I kind of like that. So I'm going to click that. And that brings it in. Now I notice at the beginning of that, there's kind of a lot of a blank space. So I'm going to simply kind of move my mouse over to the edge and kind of trim that up and move it over a little bit and now stretch it out because it's actually three minutes long. Now if I start playing, let's get this, this uh, play bar back to the beginning. Well, that's kind of an abrupt ending, right? Oh, this is a cool feature of Canva built right in. I'm simply going to click on my music line. And now a menu pops up over here in the lower right hand corner. So I'm going to choose those three dots and choose audio effects. My one that I'm going to choose is fade out. So I'm going to make about a three second fade. And you can see how that kind of shaded that a little bit. So now if I kind of just go back here to start playing. Wow, the music even fades out for us as well. That is great. Now you could keep playing and playing and playing and adding more pictures and adding more text and adding whatever you want to to make your slideshow. But you're like, well, how are other people going to see it? Mm, Canva's ready for you to go there too. 
All you need to do is to go up in the upper right hand corner and choose the share menu. And we are going to choose a view only link. All right. And the reason why we want this one is so that no one has to sign in to see it. They're simply going to get like, it's going to be a link to the video to watch it. So I'm going to click on view only link. And it says anyone with, with link can watch this video. No sign in required. Great. So I'm going to hit the word copy. Now, what does that look like? So if we want to see what it looks like for the users that get that, I'm going to paste this in. By the way, this works on any device for them to be able to watch it. It can be mobile, phone, uh, tablet, whatever, desktop, laptop. It's, it, it'll always work. And we're going to visit that link. And here's our video. And let's go ahead and press that play button. Now the cool thing about Canva is that if I want to make uh, some changes, I can make the changes and that link already stays the same. So it's kind of like a Google Doc in that way. You can still make changes and then your people are gonna get the changes automatically. Because one of the changes I saw was that maybe what I wanna do is have my slides last longer. So instead of having them last three seconds, I want them to last five seconds. So I can go into the each one of these right here and I can see the time right here at the bottom. I can click on that and I'm gonna make that five seconds and I'm gonna say apply to all slides. Now the reason why it's showing three seconds here is because remember we had the transition was two seconds. So let's make the timing even more. So let's make it easier. Let's actually slide it up. Oh, let's make each one eight. Okay, so now if we were to play this, And notice our music is off now too, so we can stop that. By the way, a cool keyboard shortcut is a space bar in Canva. Um, notice my fade still stays in there that you can stop and start using the space bar. So that's a fun way to be able to get that. I'm gonna bring this back to the beginning. So there's so many things that you can do with it. Now, all I have to do is refresh and look, my slideshow is longer. So I already have the new updated timing without having to resend a link or anything. Now I'm gonna tell you what, we've been together for about 13 minutes. And in that time, we already made this much of a slideshow. So you can see that Canva can really give you a slideshow in not a lot of time. Your first thing that you really need to do is make sure you have all your pictures gathered together in one place because that always cuts down once you get into the process. And then from there, let your create creativity unfurl, bring the pictures in, text, add images, other images. You can add all sorts of other elements. There's stickers and everything else that you want to would ever want to bring in. So let your creativity fly inside of Canva and make all those great end of year photo slideshows to share with your students, their families, and friends.